completely surrounded right now by Croatian police. Czech politician Vit Jedlička, he's taken advantage of an unresolved border dispute to create what he calls Liberland. Half a million people have already applied to be citizens of the small speck of land, adopting the motto, live and let live. A million people applying for the citizenship of Liberland cannot be true. Or can it? What is Liberland? It's a newborn country. On the border of Serbia and Croatia on the Danube River. Wow, this is the beautiful Liberland right there. So why is Al Jazeera covering Liberland? Is there something to be taken seriously about this place? And in case you were here for the first time, my name is Jay and here we discuss investments that lead to residency and plan B citizenships. So if you haven't subscribed, take a moment and subscribe now so you're always up to date on all the latest and greatest regarding any of the programs. Liberland Passport, which can be used to enter multiple countries like Haiti, Colombia, Malawi and counting. Hey, we just Liberland. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. Did he just say a Liberland Passport can be used to enter Haiti, Malawi, and Colombia? Now that definitely cannot be true. Or can it? Now we'll get to Drew Binsky and what he is probably doing in Liberland in a bit, but I first wanted to discuss one of the comments that I received on my channel. Now I've made a recent uh, video, which is an appeal to Elon Musk. I shared the example of Liberland. Uh, he has some ambitious projects like a city probably on Mars, right? So if you have a city, you need a government to run the city. And if you have government, you have people. And if you have people and government, then you need citizenship, right? So that's a very interesting open appeal to Elon Musk. Now, if you have missed that video, definitely make sure you return and check this link. But that's later. Before that, the comment, right? So the comment that I received on the Elon Musk video is uh, a pretty interesting comment. The commenter, and again, I'm not gonna reference the name, but the commenter interestingly asked if this has become a fun channel that we are discussing Liberland. And my response was, Taxation in Liberland is voluntary. Have you checked the diplomatic touch point that Liberland is uh, establishing in every corner of the world? Well, definitely check out the website. And if you're looking for some reading material, The Capitalist has an interesting article on Liberland, although it doesn't have any significant stuff to it. Nonetheless, it's worth a glance at least. Now, interestingly, once I replied or posted my reply to this commenter, mysteriously, the comment got deleted, meaning the poster deleted the comment. Now, let's leave that topic aside. Uh, this video is not about the comment, etc. This video is about Drubinsky and what the hell is Drubinsky doing in Liberland? Now, if you don't know about Drubinsky, he is one of the most popular YouTubers who travels almost every country on, his, on this planet. Super interesting uh, channel. I personally watch this channel for entertainment. Fantastic guy. I love Drubinsky. Now, he usually goes to countries, right? Real countries, real nations, and he posts his journeys or he makes his YouTube videos, extremely popular YouTube videos. The views go into the millions. So super successful channel. Now, he recently made a trip to Liberland and he interestingly discussed the e-residency, the passport, the citizenship, and all these topics. Now, I can understand Drew Binsky touring a country, exploring the nation, what do you get in $10 or what do you get in $100, those type of topics. Now, was he there just for the travel? Was it the citizenship or was it the passport? Now, interestingly, Drubinsky read out the approval letter uh, that one gets once they're approved for the e-residency. Thank you for becoming a Liberland e-resident. Now, does that mean that he got approved for e-residency, well, only Drubinsky can answer that. Uh, he met with Yedlichka, he spent the day with him. Vit actually took him right to the Liberland border. They were inches away from touching the country before the police intercepted them. Uh, turn, up the, turn up the phone, turn up the phone, he says. Okay. 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 One finger. But hats off to Drubinsky for going that distance. Now, while I'm discussing all of these concepts, be mindful, this is not immigration, legal, tax, or financial advice. This is educational content. This is my personal opinion and my analysis. 
regarding the diplomatic recognition of Liberland and whether a Liberland passport is actually permitted entry into Colombia. Well, it's an interesting topic. It's not as straightforward as Drew Binsky's video calls out to be. There has been interesting conflicting information out of Colombia. A lot of local politicians who are in favor, who have been in touch with Liberland officials and who have said yes to this idea. Then there has been some back and forth between authorities. So there is some confusion. It's not very straightforward at this point, but it's an interesting development. I'm closely tracking uh, that relationship between Liberland and Colombia. Uh, if it is allowed or if it happens or if it is straightforward access, then that would be a very exciting uh, opportunity for Liberlanders to enter Colombia using uh, their um, Liberland citizenships. It's a super interesting topic and I'll continue to monitor that. If there is any development on that front, I'll be the first one to create a video. So make sure to subscribe and turn on that bell notification so you don't miss any developments on that front. Now, should you take Liberland seriously? Well, that's an interesting question. If you're talking about access, I would personally not take Liberland seriously right at this time if I was looking for access because some of the access seems to be diplomatic access. It's still a long way to go. But as a concept, as a country, as a project, I am very impressed uh, the amount of progress that WIT has done. I have personally reached out to WIT asking him certain questions, asking him for some more information. Once I hear back, I plan to make future videos on this topic. But as a country, as a project, I'm very interested in Liberland and where it has to go. Now, Liberland aside, if you're looking to start your residence, you're looking to start your citizenship, and if you have any questions or need any clarifications, click the link in the description, book a call with us. We can discuss what residency best fits your situation and get you started with the option of your choice. And let me know in the comments what you feel about Liberland and if it should be taken seriously. And in case you have missed my video on two citizenships in two years, then check this video out right here. All right, catch you in this one.